Hi, I'm Tanuj Kumar then Master of Financial Mathematics, the University of Wollongong, Australia. In this video, I discuss about the least through deviation regression. The least absolute deviation is also called as the least absolute error. All is absolute value, all is absolute residual, or sum of absolute deviation for the Elmer norm condition. This is a statistical optimization technique that quite similar to the ordinary least square technique. In the ordinary least square technique, what we do is taking the difference between each point and the regression line and take the squares of this difference and try to minimize the sum of these squares of differences. Instead, instead, in L1 estimation, what we do is to take the absolute value between the each point and the regression line and try to minimize the sum of these absolute differences. The L1 estimation method is an alternative to the least square method used in the linear regression for the estimation of the parameters of money. Instead of minimizing the residual sum of squares, the sum of the residual absolute values is minimized. The L1 estimator has the advantage of not being sensitive to outliers as the least squares method. In this method, what we attempt to do is to try to find a function with a closely approximate set of data. As an example, in a simple case, let's consider about simple case, the set of data X and Y. What we get the approximation function is a simple trend line in two dimensional classification coordinate. When compared with the ordinary least square regression, least absolute deviation has multiple advantages. Ordinary least square regression is not very robust. In other hand, least absolute deviation is robust in that it is resistant to outliers in the data. Least absolute deviation gives equal emphasis to all observations compared to ordinary least square method, which gives more weight to residual as it takes the scarce of the differences between regression line and the residual. If the predicted values are far from actual observation, this gives more weight to the residuals. In ordinary least scarce, always get one solution, but least absolute deviation regression may lead to multiple solutions. Compared to ordinary least scarce method, least absolute deviation technique is highly costly. In the ordinary square method, what we do is to find the estimator beta by minimizing the sum of square residual. Um, we take the difference between the actual observation and the linear regression line and take the square of these residuals and we try to minimize the sum of squares in least square method. This is given by minimizing of sum of ui square where ui is the yi minus yi hat. And in the LSD estimate is obtained by minimizing the sum of absolute error, which is the difference between the actual observation and linear regression line. And we take the absolute value of this one because the points above the line will give a positive difference and points below the line will give a negative difference. But here what we consider is only the absolute value. This is given by minimizing of summation of ui. Yeah, U I is Y I minus Y hat hat.
Suppose that the data set consists of the points x, i, y, i with i is 1 to n. And we want to find a function f such that fx i nearly equal approximately equal to y i. To attain this goal, we suppose that the function f is of a particular form containing some parameters which need to be determined. For example, the simplest form would be linear function fx equal bx plus c, where b and c parameters whose values are not known. And what we have to estimate this value. Uh, if we consider about fx is quadratic, meaning that fx equal ax square plus bx plus c, where a and b and c are unknowns. Uh, so we now seek estimated values of the non-known parameters that minimize the sum of the absolute values of the residual given by modules of yi minus fxi, the sum of this function. So the idea of least absolute deviation regression is straightforward as the least square regression. The least absolute deviation line is not a simple to compute efficiently. Not like least square regression, least absolute deviation regression does not have an analytical solving method. So we have to find an iterative approach. So we can use some simple lex based method or linear programming technique iterative re-weighted least care method or Wessolsky detective design method or Lee arcs maximum likelihood approach or sometimes we can check all combination of point to point we can just find the difference between each point and the regression line and minimum the sum of these errors but this is not efficient for a large set of data uh, actual simplex based method are the preferred way uh, to solve the least absolute deviation problem uh, it is a method for solving problem in linear programming uh, gives in different algorithm mm. here i'm going to discuss about this one of linear programming technique okay now i'm going to solve the problem using a linear programming technique uh, uh, we can find a function uh, uh, such as the summation of yi minus absolute value of yi minus the difference between yi minus a naught minus a1 x1 xi1 minus a2 xi2 to do ak xik and we uh, try to find the minimize of this function uh, with respect to the choice of the values of the parameters a naught to a k, where y is y i is the value of the ith observation of the dependent variable, and x i j is the value of the j observation of the j independent variable. We rewrite this problem in terms of artificial value variable u i as summation of u i. So we have to minimize the summation of u i with respect to a naught to a n and u i to u n and we here we have two conditions u i should be greater than y i minus a naught to a 1 x i 1 to a k x i k and also u i should be greater than the negative value of this above function because we have to take the constraint of take the, uh, condition of taking the modules of this function hmm because we find the least absolute deviation. Mm. So this format can be solved with any linear programming package. Here I'm going to analyze, here I'm going to analyze a set of data of cars using the linear deviation regression in SAS. I took a CSV file. I take the sample data and go into analyze using let's say absolute deviation. I'm I'm going to use op model in SAS here. 
uh, first I read the data and take x and y. x is the dependent variable and y is the dependent variable. And here capital N is the number of observation. What we have to do is to find parameters beta, which uh, has two values, beta naught and beta one. Then in the, we can see here in variable, this is in variable, I defined a new variable. Uh, X beta, which is equal to beta naught plus beta one times X. This is nothing but the regression line. Then we define, define the two variables. One is surplus and the other is slack. Both x uh, as greater than zero. The values should be greater than zero. And these two variables are the differences of the data point line on the upper side and the lower side of the regression line. Both should be uh, greater than zero as we take the absolute value. And then we take the objective function. It is the sum of slack and surplus. That is our objective function. Uh, and here we define a constraint because um, the constraint is difference between the slack and the surplus should be equal to the actual difference between the data point and the regression line. This is because uh, actually we don't know which point lie on up and which point lie on below the regression line. So whether they are negative or positive, that's why we take this constraint. And here we can see slack i and surplus i equal to y i minus x beta i so slack i and surplus i will get the date values from y i and x i and now i'm um, so this using the codes let's see what will be our result We can see the SAS output and the values of beta 0 and beta 1. And we have 50 observations. And let's see the absolute deviation line. This is the SAS output for the least absolute deviation. The graph shows, the plot shows the least absolute deviation points and with the residual points. You can see the red color points are the least absolute deviation points and this line. Um, some of the residual points overlap with the, this least absolute deviation points. Um, that means we have got uh, a better line other than regression line with this technique. Now we can see some properties of least absolute division line. For a set of XY data, the simple data set, the LAD line always passes through at least two of the data points. If there is a unique solution, only one solution is there. Mm, we can see from the above plot, this is true. And if there are multiple solutions, then the region of valid least absolute division solution will be bounded at least two lines. Each passes through at least two data points. If there are in simple, if there are in general, we can tell if there are K regression then at least one optimal regression surface will pass through k of the data point. Here are my differences and thank you so much.